Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a page reveal animation to a Blogger website. So if I refresh this page, here we can see we have this page reveal animation. And I have shown you how to create this animation from scratch using HTML and CSS in the previous video. So if you want to learn how to create this animation, you can watch that video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your website. Alright, so let's get started. Here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite which comes by default with blogger. And if I go to the website, this is how it looks right now. So we're going to add the page reveal animation to this home page right here. So let's go back to our blogger dashboard and let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And now here we need to add the code for our page reveal animation. So let's go to the source code of our design. And this is the source code. So this is the HTML. Let's copy this uh, HTML code from here. So let's copy this and paste it inside our theme code. So we need to paste it inside the body tag. So let's search for the beginning of the body tag. So I'll just press Command F. Or if you're using Windows, you can just press Control F. And just search for less than body. And now here we can see this is the start of the body tag. So I'll just paste the code over here just after this B class. Let's paste the code over here. Right now we also need to copy and paste the CSS. So let's go back to our Stylor CSS file. And let's copy everything from this line of code. We don't need to have this H1. So let's copy from here till the end. And let's go back and here I'll just create a style tag to add the CSS. And here inside the style tag, I'll just paste the CSS. Right now let's save this and let's see how it looks. Let's go to our website and let's refresh this page. And we can see that the page reveal animation is being displayed but it is below the content of our website. So we need to add a Z index. So here for the container division which is page reveal, let's add a Z index. I'll just set the Z index to a high value, I'll just type 900. And let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the animation is working all right. So that's basically how you can add a page reveal animation to your blogger website. Right now let's open a post. And here we can see for the post also we have the page reveal animation. But we want the page reveal animation only on the home page. So for that we need to add an if condition to our blogger theme code. So let's go back. And here I'll just add an if condition. I'll just type less than b colon if and c o n d and here for the condition let's type data colon blog dot url equals data colon blog dot home page url and now we need to close the if condition after our code so let's close the if condition over here i'll just type less than forward slash b colon if All right now let's save this and uh, let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and here we have the page reveal animation and let's open a post. And here we can see for the post we don't have the page reveal animation. But if you go to the home page, here we have the page reveal animation. And we can see that when we have the page reveal animation, the content is displayed a little bit before the animation is completed. So if you take a look at the right side over here, we can see that the content is displayed a little bit. So we need to add a little bit of delay for the animation of the page reveal. So let's go back. And uh, here we can see this is the animation reveal content anim. And if you scroll up, we are adding the animation over here. So let's add some more animation delay. So I'll just type 1300 milliseconds and let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see it looks all right. Now you can go ahead and change the color of all these elements that you see over here in the animation. So if you go back to your code, here we can see we have the first element which has this color and then we have the second element and this is the element which is displayed at the beginning where we have this white screen at the beginning. So you can change all of this to whatever you want. So if I just change this to a dark color and if I save it and if I go back to our website and if I refresh this page here we can see at the beginning we have this dark color. 
so you can go ahead and customize this to your needs right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,